Ready for a long broadcast day, but I think it's safe to say that in our first series of the day, despite the amazing season that Finale played, and yes, he had that immediate seeding into the top eight, uh, which Hero did not have, I still think that Hero is going to take it, and I also think that he's quite the favorite for this series. I would have to agree with you. Uh, Hero is a champion, and we know that uh, when the pressure is on, Hero does not waver, he does not falter, he's an emotional player, and he, he hates to lose. Who and doesn't matter. All of these things kind of come together to make him a really difficult opponent when you find yourself deep in a playoff <laughs> bracket as we are right now. Uh, Finale is maybe a little bit untested in this kind of a situation. We know that he won the show match in France the that we got to cast, the, the, the Revenge of the Nerds show match. But we are like the only people in the world who know that, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's like us and the two or three hundred people that managed to yeah. keep up with our stream, which kept constantly crashing, yeah, which was completely our fault, by the way, guys. Yep. Even uh, even we make mistakes, Ben. Back then we were still new, trying to settle in our new lives in the U.S., and we had a very unstable connection. Uh, we casted a tournament, but it didn't grow very well. Actually, we had more than two or three hundred. We had like two. Yeah, it was like yeah, it was it was maybe three three to four thousand. Yeah. What it was really more. Yeah, like. it should have been more. Uh, but it wasn't in our control back then. We tried and my PC. Uh, unfortunately, I had the only video card in the world, which did not go well together with XSplit. And yeah, then it's kind of hard to run a broadcast. Anyway, guys, you guys know how much I love PvP, Ben. I also know that Hero loves PvP. Everybody loves watching his Blink Stalkers. Uh, we casted his semifinals very recently. Yes, we did. At the Dream Egg Winter, where he played against Munchie. The Austrian Protoss player, Hero, looked good. He lost a game, which was the Phoenix against Phoenix game on Metropolis. But overall, Ben, he looked good. He had an excellent read on the matchup. Um, he was just being Hero, man, just playing good StarCraft. You know, I, I feel like we look at Hero's play and we say, Hero's a great player, he's good in all these different ways, but but he, he maybe he, he's, he's susceptible to sometimes losing in PvP, but on the other side of that, I think he's so good in PvP. Yep. It's like, does that make any sense? Like, yeah, it does. Sometimes he gets upset, but in general, his PvP is just ridiculously solid. I think a lot of people will agree with you, Ben. Uh, people have always looked up to Hero for his PvP. Uh, he's a little, I wouldn't call it one-dimensional, but I think it's safe to say that we all know that he's a big fan of Link Stock because he doesn't like to sit back, go yeah. for Robo Expanse, play Immortal Sentry Zealot. No, he likes to be active on the map. He likes to make something happen with Blink Stalkers. But overall, I think the biggest strength that he has in PvP is just his game sense, man. You can't see everything in PvP, no matter how good your scouting is. There are moments where you're kind of going to have to gamble a little bit and you're going to have to go with your instincts. And I just feel that Hero is so good at that all, no, not always, of course, but so, so often choosing the right build order at the right moment. I completely, I completely agree with that assessment. I like to compare Hero, and this is like a weird comparison well to make because. Bad. Sorry, mate. Uh, one sec. But I love this build from Finale. He's gonna go for the one gate expo with just one zealot, and wow. then he's gonna make the sentry. This is the. Um, I like to call it TT One's build because I really feel that he was the first one to do this, Ben. And it's such a strong build. It seems like Hero wants to go for three gate. Oh, Hero's just gonna straight up four gate. This is bizarre. How many pros does Hero have? Hero right now, 22 pros, only 20 has pros will finale. Has he scouted this? But the biggest thing is... Ben, how is he... How is this is just no. like a blind chance? Yeah, he hopes for it. But you know what? This might be very strong. Yes, he will most likely be able to force a cancel on this Nexus. But if Finale positions himself well and he stays on top of the rank, he can sacrifice this Nexus and still be ahead because he's going to be the player with superior attack. Yeah. And there's not going to be any high ground vision for Hero. So yes, Hero might, might kill this Nexus. But is he actually going to be able to get on top of the ramp? If not, yeah. I still think that Finale is going to be in great position. Even if Hero kills the Nexus, he's going to be behind in probe, he's going to be behind in tech, and all that Finale really has to do is sit there and hold that ramp, force field until he can get, you know, an Immortal or two, something yep. like that. Uh, I mean, with the one-gate Robo build, you're going to get Immortals out all so quickly. I'm pretty sure... Ooh, he's going to go with Observer first. Well, it's going to give him some more information. He's going to see these heroes, and he's like, hmm, well, probe as well. Is he going to cancel it or not? He is not going to cancel it, so he's... Well, Ben, I would say 99% sure to lose this Nexus. But hey, even if he loses the Nexus, I don't think he's necessarily behind. All going to come down to the execution from this point forward. Finale's got to hold this ramp. He is already backing up as if Force realizing field. his peril. A couple of probes are going to go down here. Oh, he has to kill the probe. He really has to kill the probe right now. Oh, uh -oh. my God. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, this is quite no. bad. Oh, no. And now two pylons are down. It's going to be almost impossible for sentries to kill the pylons. Oh, kill this. Island. He's uh, not focusing it. He's uh, going to work on it right Kev, now. This is over. This is over. You've got high ground warp ins. These zealots are never going to die. Stalkers from the low ground will eventually get through. 
Here's one more force field. He's going to drop the force field right now. He needs more sentries, man. He needs more force field. If those stalkers get up, it is absolutely over. He's not going to get any additional force fields. I think you're right, Ben. As Vydrod say, it's GG. It's GG. One more force field does go down. Single stalker squeezing through. This immortal has to be microed perfectly, but unfortunately, Hero has four gates. He can just warp in on, on top of this ramp indefinitely. Now the five stalkers that were stuck in the natural have gotten through. The immortal is being microed very well, though, but there are so many stalks for Hero. The Immortal does fall, so now Finale is in even more trouble. This is the only pylon powering these two gates. So if this pylon falls, Ben... Oh, and uh, even if it doesn't fall, the, the unit count is just way, way too strong in Hero's favor. Finale knows it. GG gets oh. called. And that's a very quick game number one. Yeah, it couldn't be much quicker than that. Very sloppy execution by Finale. Mm. I mean, we can analyze this all we want. Some people might say, hey, this build seems really stupid. It's actually not a stupid build, guys. It's a very good build. I think it's one of the strongest builds out there. I have a lot of trouble dealing with it. But yes, <laughs> if you get four gated, you want to hold your ramp. You might say, okay, you might lose that Nexus 400 minerals. Pretty big deal. Not the end of the world. If you have more probes, if you have one gate robo and you get two additional probes, you might get contained for a little bit, but there's no Twilight. There's no robo on the other side. So you're still quite okay, even yep. when you lose that Nexus. But yeah, if you're going to give up high ground vision, a hero, of course, the amazing play that he is, immediately drops two pylons, realizing that there is almost no yeah. DPS in a one Zealot and two sentries. And the Zealot is even under fire from those stalkers on the low ground. Just sloppy by yeah. Finale, man. And that's another important point. If you make a mistake against a player of Hero's caliber, you're not going to come back from that. Hero's, Hero will kill you if you give him the opportunity to do so. That last game brought to you guys by LABite.com. If you're hungry, you don't want to leave your computer, and you live in Orange County or Los Angeles, head over to LABite.com. Use the promotional code NASL. You can order any food you want from the more than 1,000 restaurants. You know what I really wonder, Ben, if any famous people ever use LABite? Like maybe like Nicki Minaj, like ordering, watching us. And you know they do. They're like sitting there, they're watching the NASL, they're maybe watching like their Eminem StarCraft. Maybe is like our biggest fan. How yeah, cool he's just be? sitting there. He's like, he's like, oh man, this Roddy kid, he could really be a cool rapper. Yeah. One and day we're gonna get like a record deal and stuff. And he's sitting there, he's like, oh, I'm kind of hungry. And then he sees our commercial, and he's like, oh, I think I'll order LABite.com. How cool would it be if you're like a food delivery guy and you're like, wow, this is a really big house. I wonder who lives here. And like Eminem opens up the door in his sweatpants. He's like, hey man. <laughs> he's like, hey man, I just saw the Pazuki challenge. I'm yeah. gonna try it myself. <laughs> he gets like a Pazuki for 12 bucks. He gives a hundred. Keep the change. He's like, oh my. Oh my god, I love you, Eminem. <laughs> well, that would be good. Okay, well, that was a <laughs> hell of a rant. We're going to play a short commercial. We'll be right back, right back with game number two.